Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Dark Souls the Card Game's first expansion, The Forgotten Path. Yay! I've been enjoying this, actually more than the board game, but it doesn't have miniatures, which is why I got the board game. Regardless, let's get into this. I'm very happy that there's an expansion. I'm hoping it adds another uh, more classes and such, at least one. Uh, but otherwise, I really don't care too much. I'm just happy with more stuff. I wonder which games this is going to more make reference to. It does state the board game is required, yada, yada, yada. Alright, so, first yeah. off, we've got a rule book about the same size as the previous rule book. This is probably all some rule changes, clearly content, uh, clarification for how stuff works. Then we've got a new board for how uh, for the setup. This one is also double sided, so there's at least two scenarios. It looks like we've got Great Wolf Sith. I have no idea off the top of my head what that is. Gargoyles and one of the demons, not like one Asylum demon or the Great Fire demon. We'll find out soon. All right, then we've got one, two, three. Uh, Ah, uh, packs of cards. All standard size cards. So, let's get to this. Starting off with the one that clearly has a class on the front of thief. Just find that potent. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, these games, for, um, now that I've played it a few times, work very much like a deck builder, except instead of buying as you go and reshuffling, because if you run out of cards in your deck, that's effectively your health. You're out. And the group goes with you. Just like in the miniatures game. If one person goes, they all go. Oh, both the classes are at the front. Thief and Pyromancer are two new classes. And we've got some new basic treasures, I think. Oh, no. These are thief stuff. So we've got Shortbow, Bandit Knife. Deserter armor, bandit sh or round shield, then some usual stamina, which, again, this works by playing stamina to match to use your abilities. Red, purple, or sorry, blue, purple, and yellow. Not red. Then under the pyromancer, we have, of course, pyromanic flame, because how else are you a pyromancer in this setting? A little annoyed that it requires something like that instead, it's just, instead of just actual pyromancy. I'm thinking pyrokinesis. Never mind. Hand Axe, Pyromancer Garb, uh, Cadius's Round Shield, and we've got some purple, yellow, and red stamina, which I believe red was mostly magic? No, purple was magic. Then we go into some uh, generic stuff. Everything has the new set icon, uh, the we got a sword, a silver knight spear, some cestus. I'm really wondering... Oh! Havel set! I always loved that set. The crystalline set. <laughs> Dung pile, yay. Alright, let's get into uh, the next one. Woo! So this game also had a lot of push your luck elements, like you finished an encounter, you could either go back, rest of the bonfire, or you could push on. But if you failed in pushing on, you didn't get the stuff from the last encounter, or the one you failed at. You had to succeed at a following encounter to safely be able to keep the stuff from the previous encounter, or you had to go back and rest. Handler's Trident, the Stone Greatsword, a gem, gold hemmed black set. I loved this set in the first one, it was one that I ran around with for a long time. Some spells, some armors, all sorts of different kind of cards, but it's mostly, this is all just the standard gear. Then we get to the actual bosses. So, first off, we've got the Asylum Demon. So it's just the standard Asylum Demon, not one of the random one, or one of the other two. There's one other Asylum-ish demon, and then one that looks like them, but doesn't fight like them. Uh, Velgorgo, one and two. Of course, there had to be more than one. Woo! It was the Moonlight Butterfly was the one that I didn't recognize because I've never seen a symbol for it. And yeah, Great Wolf Sith. And then we get into, like, here are the cards for the Asylum Demon. Again, these monsters have the tendency to or, attack in specific positionings because this game cares about positioning. 
flying overhead smash and stuff like that. The gargoyle cards look like they do two separate... Oh, I get it. It's gargoyle 1 and gargoyle 2, and they do each of their attacks. So, they have two locations rather than their image. And we've got the Moonlight Butterfly cards, which make the others use the same image. And then we've got the Great Wolf Sith cards, some of which have a smaller image like this first one because they have uh, text underneath them, like this one is Resolve This Attack Twice, which is called Double Sword Swing. I wonder why. Uh, then we've got Monsters! I don't know what encounter levels these are. Are these all? Yeah, these look like all encounter level ones, so there's probably more in there. We've got stuff like Large Undead Dog, Slime, Undead Attack Dog, Twice, Demonic Foliage, Falcon Skeleton, Forest Clan Bandit, Forest Clan Thief, Forest Clan Sorcerer, so that the set of stuff that attacks you in the Dark Root Forest. Which I can already tell there's more because Forest Root or Forest Clan Cleric. Tongue tied there for a bit. Yep, and that was the last one of those. And then I'm just gonna pile up the rest. And then all sorts of different kind of things right here. And yeah, they go into the twos and some threes. A lot of ones compared to the others. Then we got whole new Ooh. Encounter setup cards, like the individual encounters themselves. These are the ones you lay down and then you know what the events are. This is where the real randomness comes in, in terms of different gameplay and replayability. Then we have I think these are fog or sorry, one of them is fog. Um, I think these are the trap cards I saw. Uh, they look like traps and environments, but they're all sorts of different kind of things like that. Uh, like bog, fog, treacherous footing, smeltering heat, lucky escape, shattered foot, rockfall, clockwork traps. They've all got this spear icon on the back, I think. No, okay. So, these are environment cards, I'm guessing, because... And that's their icon. And then these are trap cards. Like that spear. But regardless, that is everything in the box. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. Either way, you'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want to comment in general, feel free to, such as if you want to hear my thoughts on this game, such as a review or just general idea, or if you want to see a detailed overview, which I'd have to get to in the core game first. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my core game overview videos, or my painting videos of things such as the Dark Souls miniatures, and anything else that I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.